the first day of the week at early dawn, the women came to the tomb taking the spices they had prepared for the body of Jesus. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly, two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told all this to the apostles. You know, I think that I'll always remember Easter 2020 by thinking about Christmas. <laughs> I know that may sound kind of weird, but I remember a particular Christmas story that you've probably heard of. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. You probably also remember a little character by the name of Cindy Lou Who. Now Cindy Lou knew something that the other people had forgotten in her village of Whoville. And that was that no matter what they might do or not do, no matter whether or not they were ready, well, Christmas was going to come. Christmas was going to dawn and be born again inside the hearts of the people. So even though they weren't able to have their big parties or their lavish feasts, they weren't able to gather together in the same way that they had done in the past, well, Christmas was gonna come anyway because Christmas was something that was happening within their lives and within their hearts. <laughs> Y'all know there's no way that we're gonna let COVID-19 become the Grinch that stole Easter, even though things are very different and we're not able to gather this year. Easter's gonna come anyway. Easter's gonna be born again, happen in this world, because Christ has risen and lives within us. And no matter that we can't see the flowers, we can't hear the music in the same way that we're used to, no matter that we can't come together today, nevertheless, Christ has risen. The day will dawn. And I hope that wherever you are, you'll celebrate. I'll be right back. There's something I need to do. Please stay, don't go away. Rejoice now, heavenly hosts and choirs of angels, and let your trumpet shout salvation for the victory of your mighty King. Rejoice and sing now all the round earth, bright with the glorious splendor, for darkness has been vanquished by our eternal King. Rejoice and be glad now, Mother Earth, and let your holy courts and radiant light resound with the praises of your people. All you who witness this marvelous and holy flame, Pray with me to God the Almighty for the grace to sing the worthy praise of this great light through Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with him in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. For all of you today who suffer, for those of you who carry the heavy burdens of grief brought upon us by this time of disease and illness, for all of you who are separated, remember the celebration on this day that Christ has risen within us. For all those of you who bear the grief of the death of loved ones or who are sick, those who care for the sick and reach out day by day, putting your own lives on the line for the sake of others, please know that people pray for you and care for you. Please know that the promise 
of the resurrection dwells with us and is in us still, and that God will be making things right. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. To all of you, wherever you are, a blessed Easter to you, and I look forward to the time when we're together again.